Today, we're taking a look inside of teaching textbooks Algebra 1 and answering your five most pressing questions. So let's get started. The first question is, will teaching textbooks adequately prepare my child to go into college or for their career path? Well, let me show you what I found. I went and searched for what are the high school standards for Algebra 1 across the board. Each of those different things are addressed within teaching textbooks. I put them side by side and was able to see exactly which lessons covered, which of the different topics needing to be covered. And what I appreciate about teaching textbooks is that not only do they make things really easy to understand, they help explain it so your child will be able to apply those things in the Algebra 1 and other courses for high school, they also do a fantastic job of making sure that they specifically use the wording or similar formats to what they're going to see on standardized testing. This helps ensure your child understands the concepts but is also not surprised by some of the ways that the questions might be put in a standardized testing format. I even went and took a look at Kathy Duffy's review. This is a well-known, well-acclaimed, completely neutral, third-party home school curriculum reviewer who reviews every homeschool curriculum out there imaginable and does a really thorough job with it. And in her explanation of teaching textbooks, she explained how it starts out by reviewing many of the pre-algebra concepts, but then goes into each of those algebra one concepts that your child will need to succeed. Things like functions, relations, statistics, probability, graphing with a calculator, the quadratic formula, absolute values, two variable inequality, and other more challenging topics. She says that it's very similar to other Algebra 1 courses out there, only it does a better job at more thorough explanation. And even from my own personal experience, while I do have two high schoolers that are just now going into Algebra 1 and have been using it and enjoying it, I also have personal experience. All of my siblings got the opportunity to use teaching textbooks for at least a period of time and all did well going into their careers or their college path. My youngest brother was not only taught teaching textbooks exclusively from the grade three level that they start with into his high school levels. But after completing Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and Geometry, he was able to transition straight into a college algebra course doing dual enrollment courses. And he actually is a math major and is making that his career. So yes, he went on to take some additional courses, but actually felt like he was very adequately prepared to go straight into college algebra with zero problems coming from teaching textbooks. But the question I get also is what kind of supports are there for homeschooling parents who don't feel adequate to teach high school level math? High school level math can be incredibly intimidating. I know for myself it has been 15 plus years since I have touched much of this material and frankly I don't remember a bit of it but no worries because teaching textbooks has a lot of supports for you as the parent. First of all the major support is that they actually teach the material. Your student is going to go through video lessons that actually accurately, easily, and understandably explain the math concepts for that lesson. They have different visuals, there is writing, there's text, there's audio, all sorts of multi-sensory approach to teaching the lessons to your students. They will get the opportunity to practice as the lesson is being taught, and if they go the wrong direction, it will also help correct them and help them understand why it is not that way. This is not only true within the lesson portion of the curriculum, but also within the question portion of the curriculum. Your child will complete about 25-ish questions each day, and within those, if they were to insert the wrong answer, they can try again, and after that point, if they still can't quite get the concept, they are able to press watch solution, and it will very, very thoroughly explain how the problem should have been done correctly. This helps ensure my children gets immediate feedback, understands exactly what they got wrong and how to correct it. We've noticed that with this immediate feedback, they're able to easily catch their mistakes and more easily understand what they're supposed to do. But what about those concepts that they don't easily understand? They've watched the explanation and they're still confused. Well, of course they can come to you as the parent, but if you are like myself and completely clueless and lost, then you probably are gonna to wanna to take advantage of teaching textbooks hotline. So they actually have a 
sort of tutoring hotline that is completely free for those who have purchased teaching textbooks. You are able to call and get actual live support to help your child through the math problems. This is a huge opportunity for you as a parent to feel fully supported without having an extra price tag of a tutor. But does it give my child the flexibility that they need to meet their demanding schedule? I know when we get into high school, my kids at least, their calendar has grown exponentially. Their social calendar has definitely doubled. Not to mention they are working towards long-term goals. Things like working and practicing driving time or looking for a job, having the opportunities to be able to shadow people or go visit colleges, learn more about what they need to do, prepare for their future. Future. And of course, there's definitely still those normal things that we've always had like therapies or activities, events, church things, and more. With the fact that this is a technology-based math curriculum, it allows my child to take it on the go wherever we go. We have them on tablets, but you can also use it on a computer, a laptop, or a desktop, which makes it very, very easy for you to take it with you. It is not tied to the internet. So anytime you are connected to Wi-Fi, it will download the next six lessons or so within the curriculum, but you can then access it from anywhere. I love this because it allows my kids to be able to do teaching textbooks in the car. It allows them to be able to take this to doctor's appointments, to take this to different events or activities that we are at. And they love the fact that they are not missing out on the really critical opportunity to squeeze math in wherever they can so that they can do the other things that are on their list that might be a little more important to them. But the mobility of it is just one aspect of the way it works in as a flexible piece into our schedule. When you purchase teaching textbooks, it actually gives you access for an entire 12 months, not the traditional 10 months of a school calendar. This provides buffer in. If your child gets the opportunity, I know like when I was in high school, I got the opportunity to do a one month trip abroad, which was incredible. But if I had had a math curriculum that was limited to only 10 months, that would have made everything else much harder to complete. With this, there is that built-in buffer. And if you know ahead of time that your child's going to be taking a month off for whatever the reason might be, you can actually even place it on hold. This is really helpful as it helps to extend that 12 month period and allows you to be able to make the most of your time so you are not rushed and are able to thoroughly get your math done. But how can I monitor my child's progress and deal with those pesky transcripts. Is this gonna be a giant pain when it comes to record keeping? Record keeping is always important, but especially in the high school years, it becomes way more important and slightly more complicated. And yet with teaching textbooks, I don't actually have to worry about the complication piece because it self grades everything that my child does. And it tells me very quickly, not only what they get on each lesson, but their average grade overall. So I, at the end of the year, when it comes time to plugging things into the transcript, can simply grab that number at the top of their grade book and plug it into their transcript. I can also print out that daily log that shows me each lesson and what grade was put there, hole punch it and stick it in my binder in case I needed additional proof in the future. It's literally the easiest thing and the one subject I don't have to worry at all about when it comes to grading or the transcript aspect of it. It even provides the daily accountability for me too to check all my child's progress as I get an email every single day from teaching textbooks letting me know what my child has completed and what score they've gotten. If they get a lower score in our house, an 85 or below, it means that I want to check it on the child, make sure that they're understanding all of the concepts that are needed. It gives me that ability to give them accountability to keep track and make sure that they're staying on the plan that we have for the school year without me having to micromanage and log into an app each and every day. The fifth question I get a lot is, can this adapt to other learning styles? What if I have a child who has some special needs? Well, I actually have six kids all together, several of which who have special needs, but currently in Algebra 1, I have one child who has several special needs and one who is neurotypical. Because of this, I kind of get to see how it works beautifully for all learning styles. They offer definitely a lot of supports for kids who need extra help. Things like the hints that pop up within the lessons. When your child is struggling with concept and they can't even remember kind of the basic function of what's going on there, they can easily click on that hint, get a little reminder that jogs their memory to be able to complete the lesson. But if they need additional support beyond that even, they 
can actually look at the top right corner of each and every question and it will tell them exactly what lesson this concept was taught in. They can then go back and rewatch that lesson or even access the ebook version on their home screen to go back if they would prefer to just quickly read over the lesson to refresh. Teaching textbooks also provides a lot of support and is a great program if you have a child who struggles with dyslexia or is maybe not a strong reader. Unlike most curriculums out there that are based in high school, there is the audio option. Everything that is written is also said. Now you can turn that off if you'd rather not have it, but I really appreciate the fact that they didn't stop doing that after the third or the fourth or the fifth grade level. So it has provided a lot of support for my son with dyslexia. There are a whole lot of other reasons why this curriculum helps supports all learning styles, but I'll let you watch this video if you want to learn more about that. And if you want to check out teaching textbooks for yourself, be sure to check out their free trial. You can get 15 lessons of every single level and just by clicking the link down in the description.